Yo, Merry Christmas everybody. Captain Jason here, Fishing FL. It's Friday, it's cold, it's Christmas. We got snows out, hose out, shirt on. So hopefully you guys got everything you wanted for Christmas, all the fishing gear, everything that you wanted, because we're going into this weekend's fishing forecast. And you're definitely gonna want to have some foul weather and cold weather gear, because it's gonna be the coldest weather we've had in 20 years. Beastly, oh my God. Dude, that guy's gonna be... Turn him, turn him, turn him. There you go. Oh, yes! Woohoo! <laughs> Bro, that's what we're talking about right wow, there. Wow. Hold that tail out. Oh, all right, that's good. It's a big fish, everybody can see that. My channel I'm Captain Jason I'm a full-time fishing guide in Tampa Bay I make weekly fishing content that help all of you become better anglers and I also showcase what it's like to be a full-time fishing guide so if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in please take a moment hit that like button subscribe to my channel and comment on how you found out about my channel that would really help me out moving on to this weekend's fishing forecast this weekend we are being bombarded by the coldest cold front that we've seen here in Tampa in 20 years and it's gonna be frigid. This weekend I advise only the hardcore fishermen to go out because it's gonna be windy. We'll talk a little bit about that a little bit later in the wind forecast. It's gonna be pretty much partly cloudy. The morning lows are gonna be near freezing. The afternoon highs are only in the 50s. We're used to seeing lows in the 50s. That's gonna be our high for the weekend. And that goes for Sunday as well. Just super frigid cold weather. So if you're gonna go, just make sure you dress appropriately. Make sure you got your layers on like if i was going fishing this weekend which i'm not i'm going hunting because this is hunting weather if i was going fishing this weekend though i would have thermals socks i'd have my boots i would have a pair of bibs and i'd probably have another set of waterproof gear over top of that and then a full face mask and gloves because i'm an og from florida so it's too cold to be out there fooling around with the fish this weekend but if you are a hardcore fisherman and you want to catch a bunch of fish this weekend, you're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to slow down your presentation. You're going to have to work super slow. However slow you're working your bait or that shrimp, just, just put it in a rod holder and don't even touch it. You'll catch more fish that way probably. But you still can catch fish this weekend. I'm not saying you can't catch fish. I'm just saying you need to be smart about it. You need to dress appropriately. And if you're going out, you need to make sure that you're staying safe because it's going to be bumping. What we have been catching all week before this front we were catching a bunch of trout. We were catching trout almost every cast. We were catching a bunch of small redfish. And as of this week, the cobia are officially here. We caught five yesterday on yesterday's trip. In a few weeks, I'm gonna have a drop that video. But everything's gonna be else is pretty much gonna be lethargic. And then everything near shore and offshore in Tampa Bay, it's just gonna be so rough that you're really not gonna wanna be out there and, and be in that, honestly. So just take this weekend watch some of my youtube videos watch some other fishing videos clean your boat do those chores go hunting take my advice go hunting but like i said if you're going fishing you're hardcore and you're going to go no matter what so take that back take it for what it's worth now let's go ahead and talk about the wind all right guys let's talk about the day after christmas and what the wind's going to be because it's not looking good it's not looking good let's be real we're going to be honest with you i'm going to hit it to you we're seeing a lot of the colors we don't like to see, which is anything that's a real light blue to a green. So we're gonna start here at 7 a.m. on Saturday, December 26th. And we got 17 miles an hour out of the northeast. And let's scroll over to 10 a.m. Slowing down a little bit, but still 13 to 15. More of the same. 
13 to 15 all the way till dark. Looks like it dies down a little bit, maybe within 10 to 15 on uh, at about 7 a.m. For Sunday, we're gonna scroll over to 7 a.m. Looks like Sunday's gonna be slightly better wind-wise, but remember, it's not just the wind that you're dealing with this weekend. I always say that if you're fishing, I can deal with it being really windy, I can deal with it being really cloudy, or I can deal with it having crappy tides. But when you have all these things stacking up against you, it makes for tough fishing. And this weekend what we have stacking up against us is we haven't had a cold front this strong come through in 20 years. So all these fish that have been biting really good and I had the best pre-front bite I think I've ever had yesterday. They're gonna not feed. They're gonna be sitting lethargic, not moving. And they're gonna be hard to see because it's gonna be partly cloudy and it's gonna be pretty windy. So back to Sunday, Sunday at 7 a.m. It's forecasting that's gonna be about, I, I would say 10 to 15 at 7 a.m. And just more of the same, lightening up a little bit about 4 p.m. It looks like it's gonna drop down to about 10. Knowing what I know and how much time I spend on the water, this forecast is being very conservative I think it's going to be blowing 15 miles an hour minimum. But let's go ahead for all you hardcore guys. We're going to scroll over here. We're going to go to the tides. We're coming up onto a full moon. So we don't got the best of tides this weekend either. And like I said, when we have the, the cold weather, the wind, cloud cover, and mediocre tides, you're asking yourself for those goose eggs. I know you think that guys don't goose egg, but we do, and it happens. And this is a tide and a day. This weekend is a weekend where guides could goose egg. So 7.08 a.m., low tide. And we got a pretty decent, it's an okay incoming until about 2 o'clock. And then the tide's just flat for the rest of the day. It's not moving. So you want to be fishing when it's cold out in the afternoon. And there's no water movement in the afternoon. So basically, all your moving water is happening when the fish are going to be basically in shock. Let's go ahead and go over Sunday's tides now the 27th. So same thing, 748 low tide and a 318 high tide and then another tide. They're saying it's a tide. It's not moving at all. It doesn't look like to me on the screen at 608 p.m. So as you can see, afternoon is when you should be fishing and there's no tidal flow at all. Plus with those big north winds, there's not going to be any water anywhere at all. If you're going fishing this weekend, please remember dress appropriately bring those artificials fish really slowly fish slower than you think you should so if you're fishing slow fish slower fish deep water canals fish the power plants fish anywhere you can find warm water up rivers that's the, pretty much the only place where you're going to be able to do decently well this weekend because the fish are obviously just going to be in shock and we're going to see big big water temperature drops uh for sunday so let me know post in the comments if you guys braved it out there this weekend post pictures of uh what it's like, let me see you in your foul weather gear and what kind of fish you caught this weekend. If you are a hardcore fisherman, because bravo to you, because I'm not going to be out there. Like I told you before, I'm going to be out there. I'm going to be hunting up in North Florida, uh, enjoying uh, some hunting tree stand weather, which this weekend will be great for. So appreciate you guys all for watching. Don't forget to uh, like this channel, subscribe, and uh, check out in the link below. I have a bunch of other videos that if you want to become better anglers, check them out. They'll help you out. Trust me on it. And most importantly, if you guys want to support my channel, I have posted my Amazon affiliate link in the description. Anything that you buy on Amazon after clicking that link, I get a very small commission off from, and that's going to help my channel and my business. So please do that. It costs you nothing, and you can buy the stuff that you already buy on Amazon, and it would really help me out. We'll see you guys out on the water next week. Have a great weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a Merry Christmas.